What's that? Are those rabbit tracks? They are rabbit tracks. Rabbit tracks and rabbit tracks came and he went. There's more, there's more tracks over here. More tracks and squirrel tracks. So it is Christmas break, taking the kids out for a hike. A little Christmas hike. Yeah, those are more rabbit tracks. They're nibbling some of these twigs, I think. Squirrel tracks too. If you watched my last video, you know that the Wooded Beardsman and I came out and uh, fixed up the bushcraft camp and we set some small mammal traps. We're meat trapping. So I'm gonna take the kids up. We're gonna have a peek, see if any of those traps are triggered. And uh, I, brought, uh, I brought my rifle shotgun combo in case, uh, in case we see some grouse. Grouse is still open. So we might luck out there. Not too many people hunt grouse in the snow. Um, but it uh, can actually be pretty fun because they really stand out. They're dark bodies on the snow. And you can hike around until you find their tracks and you can actually stalk them. You can track them and uh, flush them or shoot them on the ground. What are those ones? Ooh, fox tracks. Fox tracks. I'm gonna set a fox trap in a couple days. Yeah, he's been, they'll do that. They'll, they'll crisscross the fields and they'll listen for mice because the mice have all their little tunnels under the snow in the grasses. And they'll like pounce. And they'll pounce on them, yep. He or she. This is a nice little set of fox tracks here following, uh, following our sled trail up to the sugar bush and to the bushcraft camp um, and you can even see here where the fox scent marked <laughs> on a twig oh here comes the snowballs <laughs> oh <laughs> ah, kids 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 hey keep your eyes peeled there's fresh grouse tracks so the grouse tracks are these little triangles the long toe is on the front so that points the direction of their travel and you can see they don't really lift their feet very high because they drag their toe as they walk so this guy was going this way there's probably a grouse up there so i just want to show you over here so this is the this is the grouse track and you can see that the grouse track walked over and then got onto a hair trail, right? Because it's easier walking. It also pooped over there. And it looks like it ate some of those balsam needles. Um, but they do use hair trails, which is why occasionally you will catch them when you set hair snares. It's happened to me twice. It's, uh, well, it's snowed in, but this is where a fox pounced on a little, uh, it almost looks like it hit right in a nest down there. Maybe it was just digging through the grass into a tunnel. Oh, yeah, have a look. Whoa. It does look like a nest. Yeah. Um, yes. These are the fresh tracks from yesterday. You can see the fox dug after again a little rodent there and then here he dug and it looks like he peed too <laughs> foxes was it the same one that killed the other one what it's probably the same fox because yeah. they have a territory right and it's magical, so it's a fox. there's a little flock of pine grow speaks but the sound is a family of blue jays over in those jay. poplar trees. Yeah, there's a couple of them there. Where? In the poplars. Getting pretty close to, we're getting close to the porcupine spot, guys. So you tell me if you see any porcupine tracks. Oh, 
You don't know what they look like? I think you'll know them when you see them. Because they don't pop like a bunny. Huh. Good eye, monkey. That. Orange. Well, what what goes around peeing out orange? Porcupines. I don't know. It's just the way that they metabolize the the bark that they're eating. So I'm gonna say, why don't you go have a peek in that culvert? And then we can leave you there. So that's the porcupine track. They leave a a packed down path because they travel it over and over. It's what? It's in there. Is it? It's in there. The yeah. The bark. He just has huge oh. He's been chewing. You can see his individual like teeth marks. Remember when we went in the walk? Somewhere? You guys. Yeah, and there was, a and there was another one of those, and there was a bunch of porcupine poop in there. Ha! I was right. Oh, there he comes lumbering out. Oh my gosh. It looks like a penguin. I can't see anything, but it kind of looks like a penguin. Look at Ben down. It looks like a yeah. fluff pup. You are a fluff pup. Aww. It does look like a penguin. I wish I brought my phone. Oh my gosh. So cute. Is he cute? He looks like a platypus. Yeah? You are a platypus. <gasps> Oh, you can see each individual spine. Mm -hmm. Look how it uh, moves. Uh, like it does look like a platypus. Yeah. His tail looks like the beak. Since when do you know what a platypus is? I know, I've always known what a platypus is. Yeah, no you didn't. Extreme Last time I said, my favorite mm -hmm. animal, you said, what's a platypus? And then I said, look so it. are axolotls. And you said, what's an axolotl? He, he had, yum, yum. had one nibble and he's like, I don't like the taste of that tree. <laughs> There's his teeth mark. Shh, shh, shh. Kind of oh yeah, you could smell them. They have a distinctive smell. I can't smell right now, I but he uh, like I he had a little snow. taste of this tree. He that and the then, gigantic one that I just pointed out. He had a taste of that one, but then he went up. Had a nibble there. He oh, had a whole yeah. breakfast there, but then I mean it's hard to show because it's going to be yeah. against the white sky, but. Um, Whoa. He basically he ate, the ate the whole top of that tree there, he right? climbed up there? Yep. They're very good climbers. And they're light. On those tiny... On all those, that little tree. Yeah, and that one, which I just pointed out. Which one? That one. Yeah, he had a whole, like, breakfast, lunch, and supper here. <gasps> oh my gosh, if I was a porcupine, this is where I would live. Did he go up a tree, or is he... Oh my he... gosh, he's right here. He's right there, yeah. Let him toss his spines at me. They, they can't throw their spines, which are quills. I yeah. thought they could. Jeez, Ash. No. There's a no, it's just a, like a, a it's a myth. Through. Okay, let's leave him alone. We'll go look at some other stuff. Oops, a rabbit. Twigs and twigs that have been eaten by hares. Balsam saplings. Balsam saplings. Yeah, it's a cute little forest of them, eh? Still there. Hey, don't lick that peanut butter. None in that one. Check out the bushcraft camp. Oh, that's a fresh grouse track there. It's landed, walked over, ate some things, and then what? And then it must have, must have flown because there's no more, no more fresh tracks. So did it just hop up? Is it in one of these trees? I have to keep my eyes peeled. Um, okay, no trap set there, or no, no animals caught. Ah, uh, it flew. It was it was actually right in this tree. Sorry, Dad. 
It wasn't you. I probably scared it. We both scared it. Probably you more than me though. More than 10 windows. What do you think you guys want to come and have a picnic here sometime? Yeah. When all the blood is gone, yes. When all the blood's gone? You see? Ash tried to lick the There's a tiny little Ew. sploosh of blood there. It's not yeah. Um, That's uh, a murder scene. So there's a couple of old animal parts here from Ooh. Chris and I, but nothing came and ate them in the night. What is it? I have a little trap under here that has not been triggered. Ash, look at your second. So I stuck one under this log, because you know how squirrels are always running under logs? And it's still set under... Oh no! Look at that. Something licked all the peanut butter, pooped all over it, and it didn't, didn't get caught. Get caught. Oh, nuts. Yeah, it must have been a little mouse or a vole. Or a shrew. Snap. Look at this. Squirrel tracks. No. Squirrel tracks. And squirrel tracks all at the base of this tree. And the track, the you trap is snapped. But no. Snap, but no squirrel. So I'm going to reset it. Can you hold that for me? Thanks, dude. Is it recording? Yeah. That's good. That's what I intended. Yeah. When you over the tree, um, there. Wonkiest tree ever. That's what your sister's saying. Okay, let's, we're going to go check the hair pound, but it's over where I saw that grouse with Mirka. And usually at this time of the year, they are flocked up. So there might be more of them there. So I brought my 12 gauge over 222. I'm gonna put a 22 long rifle adapter. There's a 22 in there. I'm gonna put that. Oh, I need to put a little bit of uh, Why are there so anti rust. When you talk about guns, because they all have different number calibers that explains the size 22, of them. 2222. Yep. And 12 gauge. Safety's on. Safety's off. Safety's on. And let's try our luck. Oh, here. Hairs. There's no festering pixies. You're a festering pixie. You're a festering pixie. So I take it back. There are festering pixies. Yeah, gee. Okay, here's the hair pound. I don't see any fresh tracks here this time. Yesterday they were fresh. There's a fresh track. Oh, oh. There's been. Okay. Check it out. Did you make that? There's a fresh hair track here. The hair went in and out. I see hair tracks in there. I see a fingerprint. Oh, fingerprint. oh. they ran all along the top of it. <laughs> Did you say be hair to hair? So that's kind of funny. And then um, they didn't go. They didn't go in there. So. We've got cameras set. If you want to see some footage of what happened here, you'll have to go over to the Wooded Beardsman's channel. Why is there um, a branch on the camera? Can you not step on our stuff? Why is there a branch on the camera? To hold it at an angle. And then can you carry this camera and just back up a bit? There's more cameras behind you. Oh, I see that. They're everywhere. Um, that, that snares. Can you please hold this? It's loaded, but the safety's on. Thank you. Don't point it at me. Okay, and then if you guys go step over there so the cameras don't keep triggering activity because the batteries will get all worn out. Mm -hmm. Okay. How should I know? Hopefully they jump in where they're supposed to. So this, I would say, was a near success. But they definitely... Can I see the camera again? Thanks for filming. Um, you can see the hair. He jumped. He jumped from here. He's like, do I want to go in there? No. And he jumped up and over. Um, and, and on top, same over here. There's another print. He went from here, hopped up, and then see all these. He was nibbling twigs here, here, here. Oh, they're all nibbling. Here. Some of them I cut. Some of them you can tell because the 
when I cut them with the uh, snips, they leave a clean cut. And when the hairs bite them, they leave a tooth mark or a rip. Um, is that the kind of they, twigs they that they eat? This? No, no, I hammered that with, uh, oh. with the axe. Um, how many do you think there were? How many hairs? Yeah. At least one. I think there were two or three. Maybe two. Well, you know how we'll know is Chris is going to have them all in those cameras. So um, let's uh, head out of here. Well, you have more questions? Twigs that they eat? You want the gun? Birch twigs, yeah. Oh, it fell. Yeah, I'll take it back. They eat sticks, yeah, so that's why. So this is where we cut down a birch tree. And because all the parts they want to eat are up at the top, but they can't climb there, right? So we cut one down, snipped off all the small twigs, and then we put them into the hair pound as bait. And then we were hoping that they would climb in the holes rather than jump on top. Pardon me. I don't want to walk all the way back into the forest. The aircraft is right here. Oh. Well, you guys are whiny. Must have used up all your patience. I'm just There's the bushcraft fort. <laughs> oh. I'm surprised about that. See the, uh, there's a chaga up here. I'm going to come up and do a chaga harvest workshop with Stevie Fun for probably going to cut that one down process it the America are pretty much the only log that you jump over the other ones you just step she's over she's been desperate to find a climbing over. tree oh, that one's funny too. how is it funny look at it it's like a triangle it's only half of a tree what and it has all those spiky spikers it, that make the... It does the, have a very flat side. It must have had a tree twin that down. came off. And yeah. it has this stuff that floats on the water. Fat zoops bubbles. it around. Oh, yes. Yeah, lots of little mushrooms on this one. It, Look, Mirka, it's a hairbrush. He's not alive anymore. <laughs> Ash, you should just put this in there's your hair. There's probably no sap in those. Oh, no, there's uh, none. No. Yeah? You got sap out of one? Oh, there's That's a little surprising bit. because this tree... Heh, more. Looks dead. Uh, well, there's sap in it. All right. There's not that. Which okay, one? so that's day one, post camp out. Um, I'll come back one more time, check these traps again, or maybe twice. <laughs> I might keep. I might keep trapping. We'll see how much snow we get. I might try and catch some more squirrels <laughs> or hares. So I haven't quite decided. But there's there's more to this. Going to the end. Coming out soon. Hello again. It's like deja vu. Hey, okay. <laughs> creatures of habit. Uh -huh. It is a baby, right? No, oh, that's an adult. Really? Yeah, that's as about as big as they get, I would say. It's tiny. Um, I thought the porcupines were like that big. No. I thought How big? That they. How big? That big? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. No. Place. Yeah. I also thought that Creatures they had of Hobbit. darker hair and more dense hair, but I thought it would be like that. Hey, hold up a second. Hey, hey, hold up. What? You're dragging my rope and I want to put my camera away. Oh, Ash said, why don't you pull this lead in the air? And you listen to him? Oh, uh, yeah. Weird. All right, so this is wood that I cut to keep the trail clear so we're here and we have the sled and I like exercise so might as well bring it back with us since we heat with wood heat and we always have to stay a year or two ahead on firewood so it's always nice and dry now what I really want to show you is this pelican sled which is like an in undefeatable workhorse. And what I did is I put boat cleats on the edge as tie downs. And I've got a little bit of paracord here. So that means that when I have a full load of stuff, it's very quick to lace it on. Uh, did that go 
under good and then really fall out that's that thanks for filming monkey go Get him? Not sure. Yeah, so people get excited about the first day of grouse season, and uh, so that was pretty exciting to get a grouse on the last day of grouse season in my WMU. Look, it's a, uh, where are they? There's the girls. It's a couple's hike. We're going in, check those snares again, and we're gonna say hello to Fred the porcupine. He was newly minted as Fred by the children yesterday. Yeah, there's so many. We just flushed one and then we're pretty sure we can hear one. It's actually handy because if they just twitch in a tree right now, you get a little bit of snow will fall down and give them away. Are you going to put that one on the pizza? Oh, I totally could. Yeah. Grouse pizza, New Year's Eve grouse pizza. There it is. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> Good now idea. We meat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Fred. There he is. He's at the end of the culvert here. Hey, buddy. Look what I brought for you. A carrot. That's for you to snack on later. He's pretty good there. He's not lunging or anything, eh? Uh, he, we've walked right by them before and he doesn't give them the time of day. Yeah. But I don't cool. think he it. No. Yeah, he's not too sure where to go. Oh, left side low and the front side high. I did, yeah. One on one low left here. And he, he went to the right too. He followed well, the second bird. But then the tree followed to the right. So they both hooked right. That was a, I just saw something fall off the tree there. That was a blue jay. Okay. Over there. That grouse is right here in the branch. You see him? Yes. You're going to hit him? Cover your ears. You got him that time. Yep. <laughs> so that's the second one. So two on the closer. This is my, uh, you've seen this gun before. 12 gauge over 222 Remington. Um, we are in the bushcraft camp. There is lots of little mouse poops on that trap but it's not flipped and this one that I rebaited with some meat on it has not been touched. Fire here last time? Yep. Yeah we had our fire pit there so we had our pot hanging off of the tripod. It worked out pretty good so Chris is just back there checking his fourth squirrel trap. Um, so they've all been empty so far, but you might remember the one back there yesterday is the one that was triggered and had squirrel tracks all around it. So we'll see what happened and then we'll go check the hair pound. This is also, I flushed a grouse here last time. So it could have been one of the two that we just saw, or it could be a different one. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for that as well. Yeah. Okay. There's also some, that one's got some meat on it and that one's got peanut butter with 
mouse poops. So oh. take your pick. Okay. <laughs> What's your preference? I'll steal the carrot back from the porcupine. Yeah. There's also there's a rabbit head here in the snow, and some guts. Oh, I didn't notice those. I'm surprised Scout didn't notice yeah. them. So there's fresh fox yeah, tracks yeah. <laughs> and hair tracks. So Chris is going to collect his. Oh, there's a live one. There's a live one. That's the snare that was pushed before. So there's one caught and not dead. Just one? Yeah. Yeah, Scotty likes it. So there we have it. There's a, uh, a hare, a grouse, and we're gonna go make some pizza. Okay, I'm just gonna, I did a, a kind of the quick and dirty uh, breasting and thighs out. I'm just gonna slice these up and pan fry them so that they can go on the wild pizza. Stop oh, it! There's some goat in the background. There's some grouse What's in the oven. Well, got some, uh, oh, I got some fog on the camera. Oh, that wasn't pretty cool. Happens all the time. Stop it! And... Good reveal. How does it look? Oh, yeah, they look cooked. Yep. Salmon. I'll keep them covered, or do you want some mixed meat? No, we'll let them do a little yeah. bit. Got some, uh, pickled wild leeks here for that pizza as well. Okay, I need some pizza sauce, please. Okay. And can you pass me some cheese? For a second, let's get some little gross bits oh, okay. on here. Oh, I got it. This is gonna be a wild surf and turf. We'll do uh, grouse and some salmon. And uh, what else am I putting on here? Wild leeks. Obviously, some not wild stuff as well. Mm. No! Okay. Noisy kids in the background. Let's do some salmon chunks in here. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Good. Are you going to have some wild leeks? Those are. Yeah, pickled wild leeks. Oh, they're pickled too. Mm -hmm. oh, double whammy. Oh, I know they're gonna be so good. I should probably throw a little bit of mushroom on, or uh, it's not mushroom. That is onion. A couple of store mushrooms. I think it's gonna be good. Pizza. Super loaded, super loaded pizza. That's New Year's Eve in a nutshell. Okay, here's the the wild food one. We've got a mix of pizzas going in here so these are preheated cast iron and cookie sheets and we're gonna pizza it up that's yours with the hot pepper and the salmon Basically cream salmon cheese with hot oh yeah capers mm. this is an extra pizza and then this is the surf and turf uh, gross and salmon. There's some wild leeks in there, so it's kind of a wild food. They look pretty how they caramelize, kind of. Yeah. They would have been burnt, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do look good. Okay, we're gonna let them cool a little bit, cut them up, and then I'll show you a taste test. Wild pizza. I will cut you with the cutter. Boom, boom. It's so cheesy. Gross wild leeks and salmon. Mm -hmm. It's good. You knew it would be. Yeah. Get it there. Hunt fish forage cook wild food. See you on the next one.